Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm a certified Cisco CCNA and CCMP trainer. Thank you very much for you guys who are coming back to us. Um, we just saw video 1.2, section 1.2. Now we move to section 1.3. The networking is a platform. This is a part of a chapter one, exploring the network, which is CCNA semester one, introduction to network. The converging network. Now, if you think a few years ago, we used to have, in, back then, in the classroom, there were cables for data network, we had the cable, the classrooms were cable for telephone network, and for video network, for television. These separate networks, they cannot communicate with each other. So, advantages, advances in technology are enabling us to consolidate the different kind of networks onto one platform, referred to as converged network. Unlike dedicated network, converged network are capable of delivering voice, video streams, text, and graphics between many different types of devices over the same communication channel and a network structure. So you have to have three different kinds of networks for uh, computer networks, telephone networks, broadcast networks. You have to manage all these networks. It was it, you kind of like have to employ three technicians. Now, with the converged networks, all different kinds of data that we are sending, whether it's a TV, uh, computer data, phone, video, they all can go through one uh, communication or same communication channels. To support the network architectures, so the network they evolve. We are discovering that these are the four basic characteristics that our underlying architectures need to address in order to meet the user expectations. It's all about users, making sure the users are happy. First is fault tolerance. Fault tolerance is, is um, uh, achievable by having redundant connections or redundant uh, alternative paths. For example, say you have a one server. One server is not, it's like zero servers. You always have to have redundant server. So two servers they will make pretty much you have like one. If one fails, the other one will take over. So fault tolerance is important because with a fault, uh, without um, redundancy, there's not going to be reliability. Imagine how many servers are there for Cisco. Cisco is never going to go down. Do you know how much you have? You are allowed to be in big networks, like massive companies are allowed to be down. Ninety-nine point nine 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 percent of the time, they have to be up, working, right? So that equals to only five minutes per year the network can be down. Down. Imagine five minutes in a year. Wow. So that's it. That's why you're allowed to have. Anyway, when you can have five minutes per year, not you're pretty much going to have 100% network never be down. Then we have a scalability. The scalability means that okay, well, today we have 100 users. If tomorrow, well, we just got a burst, a spike in the users, we have 150 users. Is that going to degrade the performance for the 100 users that we have today? Well, you shouldn't. That's a scalability, right? So with scalability, you can increase grow but without affecting or degrading the performance for existing users and then we have a third the third type the characteristics in the network and then we have its quality of service it's important to make sure that not all not all the all the data is the same right so some data like voice voice packets they they require higher priority than some other data for example if you if you, he you don't hear someone in the, in the phone call for like two, three seconds, two seconds, the voice comes late and, and it gets all messy. The user will start complaining. But if you receive a web page two seconds later or five seconds later or ten seconds later, you're not going to even notice. You're not going to complain. The user is not going to complain. So for that reason, the voice packets are more sensitive and they do require better priority. Then we have a security. So we protect the network with the software or hardware security. So, software security, for example, where you think, okay, what are software security? Antivirus, anti spyware, uh, software firewalls, hardware security, hardware, we have a firewall, actually the physical firewall devices, we have IPS devices, intrusion prevention system, intrusion detection system, these are hardware devices. And hardware, you can think of security, lockable cabinets, that's a good security as well. Now, packet switch networks. Now, before, okay, if you think like uh, the network has to be fault tolerant. If one link fails, for example, on the internet, say that you're going from here to some website in America, if one link fails on the internet, I don't want to imagine I'm downloading something from that 
website in America. If something fails on the internet, I don't want to restart the download and everything. I want my packets to travel another way, another path. So, before with the circuit can switch connection oriented networks, it, for example, you when the when you started sending data, the, the switch, the circuit will be built, right? Like this. So from sir from the sender will dial the receiver or the source will dial the destination and after the, they started uh, they communicating with each other the circuit will be built but even if somewhere in the path the circuit fails the, the communication will go down this source has to dial again the destination to build a circuit again now we have a fault tolerance in a circuit switch network but we have a packet switch network in a packet switch network means that the packets are separated on, on small pieces each packet gets an IP address, the source, destination IP address, where is it coming from, where is it going, and they are sent on their path. They can use any any path that they choose. They, they are free to use any path or any, any way to get to the destination. When it gets to the destination, the destination will reassemble these packets to the correct order and it will give them to the applications. So, for example, if, say we send in 10 packets, and say two of the packets they go missing packet 7 and 8 they go missing now the other side will turn around and say okay well I got up to packet 6 can you please send me again the rest of the packets so we can resend them which means that will give us reliability but the packets will be able to go in any direction they choose well imagine it's all only about the, the bandwidth or, or delay if we have in the network and the packets can use another, this, another path so the networks they have to be scalable for example, imagine the uh, internet or, or World Wide Web. Uh, sorry, not the World Wide Web, the internet. Imagine the internet. Internet here is like a three tiers. We have tier one, these are ISPs or large international, national or international ISPs that connect directly to the internet backbone. Then we have a tier two ISPs, that, they get service from tier one and they give services to tier three. Tier three, for example, ISPs is where we connect to, where we contact them to get a uh, connection to the internet backbone. Again, we said the providing quality of service, so we can see up there, we have a different kind of data. We have real-time traffic, which is voice over IP, video conferencing, web content, that's browsing, shopping, transactional traffic, order processing, billing, inventory reporting, accounting and reporting. Then we have a streaming traffic, video, video on demand, movies, bulk traffic email, data backup, print files, and so on. So all the tra this traffic is not the same, right? So you have kind of like to think, okay, well, which one is more important for me? So, uh, for example, if transactional traffic are, are most important, then I can drop everything else. Make sure that this one comes first, right? But usually, we give a time sensitive com communication, so increase priority to services like telephony or video distribution. For example, these are like time sensitive communication. So if they if they delayed by one two three seconds, the conversation is not very pleasant. Well, all other traffic, pretty much you can live with delays like three four seconds and so on. Okay, transactional traffic is very important as well. So we have to think. Okay, time sensitive has the highest priority. Then high importance for the organization, like transactional traffic, that's high important. So we give one less than than the time sensitive, but it's quite high priority. And then non time sensitive communication like the web browsing and emails, these are not time sensitive. Which means if packet comes in 10, 15, 20 seconds later, well, then, well not maybe 20 seconds later, but 10 seconds later, the user is not gonna notice. So we can give them less priority. And then we have the last undesirable communication. These are your bulk unwanted activity. For example, if someone is I don't know, downloading peer-to-peer -peer movie sharing, is downloading a movie or something, that we don't want that traffic. We don't want to give a good priority for that. We really much we want to block that traffic, but if we don't want to block it, we can give uh, least priority. And then for security, the network infrastructure services and the data contained on network attached devices are crucial for personal and business asset assets. Compromising the integrity of these assets could have a serious consequences, such as network outages that prevent communication and transaction, intellectual property that is stolen and used by competitor, personal or private information that is compromised or made public, misdirection uh, and loss of personal or business found, 
loss of important data it takes significant labor to replace or is re irreplaceable you don't have a backup mm. shouldn't always should have a backup of your data okay so there are protection what we can have from all these problems we're gonna have face if we don't have the protection are firewalls access policies and we can encrypt our data as well that's it for section 1.3 thank you very much for watching hope to see you in section 1.4 the changing network environment thank you very much this has been as the bye bye